Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Video Training Trainings and this is the second video in this series and in this video today I am going to show you installation of vSphere 6.5 server step by step. So basically vSphere include a, a, a multiple component which is the most common is vCenter server. So we'll see how to install a vSphere uh, suit on a server. So here's my infrastructure which I'm going to use in this demo so in last video you can see I'm using five virtual machine in this all uh, demo for the like training training for vSphere 6.5 so in this video I'm going to use a two virtual machine primarily which is the first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my active directory server and the second server is vSphere 6.5 which is my vCenter server going to be a vCenter server so you can see from here this is my active directory server Win2K12 DC01 my domain name is victorinfosol.com and this is my so I am running Active Directory and DNS server on this server and the second server which we have is vCenter 6.5 you can see here it's vCenter 6.5 and this machine is joined in my domain victorinfosol.com and I have configured the IP address so, so this is a fresh Windows Server 2012 R2 standard machine on which I have configured the IP address rename the host and this machine is joined in domain that's also if you go here you can see the I have attached a 60 gig uh, of hard disk on this machine so let's do the installation for the vSphere so I'm going to mount the vSphere installation media here on this machine so go to DVD drive and I have I go to ISOs and ASXI 6.5 so you can see here it's around 2.5 gig so I'm going to mount it now if I open C drive here you can see the disk is mounted double click on it to run the setup so now you can see so we have very simple installation here which is asking for vCenter installer so vCenter server for Windows yes go ahead click on install before installation I want to show you something like for now you can see I have assigned 10 gig RAM and uh, 4 core to this machine and if you see the current RAM utilization is around 7% so once the vCenter installation is done you will be able to see the installation uh, the RAM utilization is around above the 60% or 70% so we'll see after the installation which service is using the most RAM and CPU so wait for installation window wizard for vCenter server now we can see the install ins preparing for install so now welcome to the v VMware vCenter server 6.5 installer so it's checking the initialization in background so we have to wait for a few more seconds here till the time next button is not highlighted then we can start the installation so wait for it So here we go you can see the click next to install a vCenter and we have a build number given here for the vCenter so go ahead click next and here we have a VMware end user license agreement so if you want to go through please go through and I accept the license term of license agreement so click next and now we have a embedded deployment or external deployment so we have two type of deployment and VMware vCenter infra so embedded means we are going to install a vCenter server with all the service controller together so the one machine have a like a platform service controller vCenter together and if, if you go on other scenario we have vCenter running here we have a vCenter running here and the 
host and platform services are, are on other machines so I'm going to install it with the embedded so it's going to install a vCenter server and platform service controller both so click next and here you can see the system name my server name where we are going to install the uh, uh, vCenter server so if uh, if showing it's showing like FQDN so click next now we have a v v center single sign on domain name so if you want to ch change the name you can change the name so i'm going to use here password put password i'm going to use the default name so i have set my complex password here and i'm going to call it like noeda dc and now we can go ahead click next and we have a v center service account so i'm going to use a windows login uh, local system account so click next now you can see the database setting it's uh, use the embedded database which is VMware ProStage and if you want to ch uh, have any other database you can set the, select the database and be before the selecting database you need to check that your firewall is up and uh, like allowing the uh, database server access and you have uh, typed the correct database so everything so I'm going to use a use an embedded database so click next now we have a port information here like HTTP service, HTTPS and system log and we have a secure token service which is running for uh, platform service controller we have a vCenter application port, auto deploy management port, we have a heartbeat, ESX heartbeat port we have a dumb controller port and the final one is vSphere web client port which is uh, uh, this port number where we are going to use the like uh, chrome or any web browser to access the vCenter server so we are good to go click next and here we can see the destination directory for a vCenter installation uh, for the embedded service controller and, uh, and a vCenter server in this so I'm going to install in default folder so click next and if you want to join the Microsoft uh, VMware customer experience improvement program so I'm not going to do this click next and here we have all the information which is given here ready to install so we have a server name we have a deployment type vCenter server with embedded platform service controller and we have a single sign on configuration create a new vCenter single sign on domain which we have created this vSphere.local and we have a vCenter single sign on username administrator and the site name we have we have a service account database name which we are going to do installation directory and data directories so good to go click install and now the installation will take about 30 minutes to get the installation done for everything like vCenter server it's all dependent services and applications and also it's going to install a process database so can see the installation is started VMware's CIS update runner so as this installation is going to take around 30 minutes I am pausing the recording for a few times during the installation and will come uh, resume the video once we have any like instruction required or anything required from our end user perspective so I'm pausing the recording for now and will resume for a few few times and you can see the installation uh, the memory is consuming around 8% for now on this server vCenter server we have to monitor this also so pausing the recording for now so you can see the installation is almost 70% done and the RAM utilization has been increased from 8% to 46% so we have to wait for the like installation complete so it's you can see a starting VMware vCenter server so it will take another 10 minutes to get the installation done so I am pausing the recording here again and will resume soon so now setup is completed you can see the memory utilization is increased to 68% go ahead and close this now and you can close this also and if you go and start button you can see few applications is installed here like vSphere web client is there so click on this so 
so here we are go ahead a security warning proceed with vspare 65.victimfossil.com and now put the credential to login so I'm going to put administ administrator at the ray vspare dot vspare.local which we have put it during the installation and I'm going to put my credential password for this account and click on login so it will take some time first time to login in a vcenter with web, web client So it's working on it. It will take some time to give the all the content from vCenter. So here we are VMware vSphere web client. Now you can see it's logged in. We are logged in here. And now we are going to go and create a data center which is a virtual infrastructure so go ahead and click so here you can see what is vCenter actually vCenter from vCenter you can manage the administrators can manage the ESX host uh, independent ESX host or ESX host cluster and they can also manage the VMs which is running on Windows Linux anywhere so go ahead and create a one data center so I'm going to call it like Noida DC hit OK so here we are and now if you see here 70% RAM utilization and check the services for vCenter servers if we go in services we have a VMware services here you can see there is lots of service which is running on this server because of vCenter vSphere has been installed so first is like AFD which is federation services and we have a alias manager and tick ticket service, certification service, directory service, DNS, identity management service, physical disk helper and we have a platform service control which we have installed on this machine only and security token service, life cycle manager and we have a snapshot which is manual so also we have a VMware vCenter configuration services so these all the services which is uh, uh, basically related to VMware infrastructure and if if we have any issue like VMware is not working we are not be able to access the VMware we then we need to check these service are running or not so so this is all about the installation of VMware vSphere 6.5 basically uh, VMware vCenter servers so Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.